Welcome to Discover the Basics podcast from Mastery Learning Systems. This podcast series includes specific tips on how to deliver a given lesson, as well as general Mastery Learning Systems principles and techniques. The series will enable you to get the most out of the classroom and tutoring tested math intervention materials found in the Discover the Basics books. This is session number three from the Multiplying and Dividing text, the Partner or Folding Pages. There are two primary pedagogical tools in the Discover the Basics approach. First, student-guided discovery and experience of math concepts and procedures. This is addressed by the paper manipulatives or graphics pages, two of which we've already covered in this series. The second tool, the focus of this podcast, is developing fluency of concepts, facts, and procedures that grows from an understanding of those concepts and procedures. This is addressed by the specifically designed partner or folding pages, which are linked to a graphics page. We'll look at the soccer team's partner pages, exploring how to use them and have them serve as the model for how to work with the other folding pages in this book. The example will be for the classroom setting. With minor adjustments, you can use this in a tutoring or homeschool setting as well. The first two pages look like mini word problems which support the student's transition from the classroom work with the graphics page to individually solving multiplication and division problems. Make sure everyone has a copy of the soccer team's chart and the soccer team's partner page and ask them to fold your new page in half and set it down on top of your team's chart. You may wish to model this directive so everyone folds it correctly. Folding the partner page across the middle gives you the problem set on one side and the answer key on the other side, both facing up. Ask the students, read me the first problem. Okay, now move your folded page to show that. Since assessment is important, make sure that everyone is doing it correctly. How many players do you see? That's correct. Let's do the next problem across. How many teams do we have to show? And how many players is that altogether? Good. Ask the class to work the rest of the problems like that. Read the problem, move your paper, and say the answer in a quiet voice. So students don't just copy each other, have some work the problems in a different order. Circulate around the room checking their work, again saying, try again or show me how you got that when they make mistakes. Insist that the partner page be moved up and down on the team's chart to show an image of the problem. This is what connects manipulation with computation, an important concrete connection for many students. Now say, I need a volunteer to do the first row of answers aloud. Tell the student it's not cheating to use the team's page. Give the student all the time needed. Respond to each answer with good or try again. When the other students see this example, many will volunteer to say the answers to the second row of problems, and then the third row. Now with this orientation too and comfort with the partner page, it's time to work with partners. Ask the class, I need two volunteers. One will say the answers, the other will check the accuracy with the answer key on the other side of the page. This models the process and continues the review of 11s for the class. As always, the partner acknowledges correct or incorrect answers. This is why no student leaves a page unsure of which problems they got right and which they missed, and no student is practicing and remembering wrong answers. They finish the whole page correctly. And though they're working cooperatively with another student, this is why they are responsible for their own work. The partner never gives them the answer, only yes or try again. Say to the class, now everyone find a partner and take turns checking each other. This is your opportunity to look around the room making sure that all students are engaged in the activity. All of the partner pages work similarly. Here are a few points on some of the other pages linked to the soccer team's chart. Don't tell the students that the second folding page is like beginning division. It looks like something they already know how to do, so let them just do it. 
Let them be successful with it. Then when they get to division three pages later, you can tell them, no big deal. It's just like what you did three pages ago. You could use the earlier page as a warm-up or reminder before giving them the division page if needed. The Timesmeister and Divimeister pages ask students to do what they already know how to do, but with a different look to the problems, so they become comfortable working with different formats. You've been watching a podcast in the Discover the Basics series. View the other podcasts in the series to get the most out of the Discover the Basics materials. For more ideas and materials, check out our website, www.masterylearningsystems.com. We hope these ideas are helpful and we welcome your feedback. Thank you for watching.